Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's great to be with you on this program today. Thank you so much for listening to my videos. I hope they're a blessing to you. I want to talk about Genesis chapter 5 today. In Genesis chapter 5, it lists the genealogies of Adam. Keeping track of their ancestors was very important to the Hebrew people. Many family trees are listed throughout the Bible. Back in those days, the average lifespan was about 900 years, and after the flood, the average lifespan dropped dramatically. How would you like to live uh, 950 years or over 900 years like some of those people did in those early days? One very interesting person in this chapter is Enoch, and the Bible says he lived for 365 years. Uh, that's, a, that's a long time to live, but it says in Genesis 5.23, Enoch lived about 365 years, and so all the days of Enoch was 365 years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God translated him. There's nothing much more said about him in this setting except that he simply walked with God. And that is an important thing to do in life, that we just simply walk with God. We're obedient to God. We listen to God. We listen to everything he tells us to do. We study his word. We pray. And we have faith in what he's going to do in our lives. But in the New Testament, the New Testament has a lot to say about Enoch. And by faith, Enoch, in Hebrews 11, 5, by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. Before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. We know this about him. He walked with God, and he pleased God. Another interesting fact about Enoch in the Bible is he is associated with one of the two witnesses that are going to come back and preach during the tribulation period. There's only been two men that have never died before in history, and that's Enoch and Elijah. Enoch was translated, and Elijah was caught up in a whirlwind. When we're reading from Jude 14, it says, Now Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied about these men all, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment to all to convict all who are ungodly among all the ungodly deeds which have been committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. He said these things nearly 6,000 years ago, and they're still in the future, but friends, I want to tell you it's going to happen just like that. It says in Revelation that God is coming back at the second advent with all of his saints and all the holy angels of God. He's coming back to set up his literal kingdom on this earth and to fight the battle of Armageddon. Aren't you glad that we're, if we're a Christian, we're going to come back and rule with reign with Jesus a thousand years, uh, and then we're going to take a great trip into that new heavenly city, New Jerusalem. In this chapter, it also speaks about the oldest men ever to live. How would you like to live to be 965 years old? Methuselah lived to be 965 years old, according to Genesis 5.27. Lamech had, Lamech had a son when he was 187 years old. How would you like to have a son when you was 187 years old? And verse 29 said, and he called his name Noah. Noah, this one was uh, to comfort us concerning our work and the toll of our hands because of the ground that the Lord has cursed. And, of course, in the chapters that come after the flood, Noah comes into play a lot, and we're going to read about him in the next few chapters. Uh, I appreciate your time so much. I thank you for listening to this program today. And may God bless you, bless your life today.